The war is over. You survive. Day one, blood on our hands. Marker killed another civilian. Day four, saving lives. Our neighbor's children asked us for medicine. Girl in peril, D10. Marco saved the gear from a drunken soldier. D20. Indecent proposal. One of our neighbors asked us to help us rob some rich family. Blood on, blood on our hands. Marco killed a bandit. On D27. D29. Buried alive. A shell hit a nearby. Tenement and some people were trapped under the rubble. Day 38, Marco died. Skilled when looking for supplies. Day 41, grateful daughter, a daughter of one of the people we had seen earlier came to thank us. Day 42, Pavel died while looking for supplies. And it doesn't show, but on day 25, of the war has ended. And yeah, pretty much it. After the war, Roman sought out his former buddies, and much of his great, great relief, <clears throat> uh, learned that most of them admired his courage and the decision he made. He returned to his neighborhood and became the leader of the local community. After the ceasefire, Bruno set off looking for his friend. Her neighborhood saw, very, saw heavy fighting and the majority of housings have been reduced to ruins, but she found, a sh found shelter in the basement which somehow held. Despite the hardship, she managed to survive and was happy to see Bruno alive as well. They remain friends to this day. For all his effort, Marco was rewarded with a shallow grave. Maybe his wife and daughters will, some, will find it someday on, on condition that they manage to survive the persecution themselves. Sadly, Pavel died. Will his family come back to Paul Ogoran to visit his grave one day, or will it be too painful? A reminder of what they had gone through. Do the dead even care? So, I really like this game. Unfortunately, at the end, we had some issues, and I did record it, all of it, but, um, when I wanted to render it, it actually um, said that it was corrupted. So it probably was something on my part. And um, basically, how Pavel died. Well, at the same day when Marco died, the, the next night um, I sent Pavel to. Uh, the military outpost, but they were hostile, and uh, I couldn't get Marco's stuff. But Pavel and Pavel ended up being wounded. Then we went to the hospital for the next day. Uh, nurses had bandages for Pavel, and the the actual hospital was shelled, and there was a lot of a lot more injuries. Um, the most casualties was to the children wards. Um, out of 35 children, 32, no, 33 have died, and two were injured. Um, of course, there were some other casualties. So I helped them collect all the remaining stuff. Basically, you could um, scavenge, and if you see if you like find bandages or medicine, you could have treated it with the 
um, doctor that uh, one of those depressed me treated. And uh, then I went to Schultz School and I did manage to kill two of the guys. Um, unfortunately, due to, I guess, slag or something, um, Pavel didn't go into one of those, like, creases where you could hide from, from the guys, and they saw me, and since there were two other guys, they shot me dead, to death, basically. So, yeah, that's how that happened. And then, since it was quite quite a lot of um, fighting and stuff, for a day I actually made some booze for uh, Roman and Bruno, and they were pretty funny and stuff like that. So, yeah, and on day 45, when, when you go, like, day 45, you still have the day part of it, and when the night comes, um, I think it just says the, that the fighting is over. So, yeah, the war is over. We have two of us survived, two of us died, and that's pretty much it. I really enjoyed this game, and I will play a second season of it. Uh, a different story this time, with a different people, maybe not everyone different, but there will be some new faces, and we'll see how how good will we survive another war. So I will see you next time, bye bye!